Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indy Comics Jones. Today is April 9th, 2022, and this is episode 497. I'm pretty sure it's 497. Hey, Nottingham's back. <laughs> Meat is back on the menu, boys. All right, this is issue number six coming out from Mad Cave. It comes in at a whopping $3.99. Let's get down there. Really nice cover. This is, of course, the Sheriff of Nottingham. I believe his name is Blackthorn, Sheriff Blackthorn, but they just usually call him Sheriff in this. And we get a really nice cover. Now, um, you, it is the interior artist doing the cover on this. I don't know if there was any variance or not. I don't believe there was. The issues one through five was a separate arc. However, this goes right from there into the next arc. The last arc was very, very uh, surprising. It had a lot of surprises in it. It kept the action moving. He's these, got these kind of grotesque style. It doesn't appear so much on the cover. In fact, the covers look really nice. Uh, but the interiors seem to be more of a grotesque style, which goes with the brutality and the blood that is in the story. Now I'm going to zoom in real close on this cover so you can see the kind of detail that he's put into here. It's almost like this graffiti looking look to it. Some very nice imagery going on and just kind of builds right into the story. All these little things have something to do with the story. Now on the back here We've got another one of his drawings. This actually happens in the book where the this is a messenger and his horse gets hit with an arrow there. And once again, it gets a little bit of a design down here, not too much. The Templar signs and perhaps hills or the ocean, not quite sure. But this has been a real terrific story. Prince John is actually the hero, believe it or not. And Robin Hood is, is looking... Maybe the bad guy. Maybe not. We'll have to find out how this arc progresses. Okay, let's take a quick look to see who worked on this. I'll get in real close. Because the uh, font on this is a little strange. So it's David Hazon is the writer. Shane Connery Volk is the artist. Luke. Oh, I can't read that really well. Luke is the colorist. Justin Birch is the letterer. And Brian Hawkins, looks like, is the editor. The really nice job all overall. Even the, the packaging is really nice. We'll give Diana a shout out here as well. So just lovely. So the, uh, Robin's Merry Men, they all wear these kind of masks here. So they all have this grotesque, scary mask that they wear. And there seems to be a multitude of them. The last arc, they killed off a lot of them. So we have uh, Prince John. He is in Nottingham, 1193 now. He's approaching the court. And in charge is Gisborne. I don't know if he's a prince or not. I'm assuming he might be. In the meantime, oh, this was earlier. He's got a message. So we get the messenger gets attacked here by Robin's Merry Men. He says, don't kill the messenger. So they shoot the horse instead. That's what we saw in the back cover there. So the horse falls down. It, it traps the messenger underneath. And just as Robin is about to kill the messenger to take his message, here comes the Sheriff of Nottingham, Blackthorn, Sheriff Blackthorn, with his group of soldiers. He stops the murder and tries to free the messenger from the horse. They can't move the horse. They ensued. A uh, merry men fight ensues. You can see they're all there. They're, they're vastly outnumbered, these soldiers. So, But they're able to get the message from the messenger before he dies and, and ride off and retreat. So they lost half their men just trying to retrieve this message. So this is what we see is the sheriff presenting Gisborne, who is kind of like a, a prince in sitting, or maybe a steward in Nottingham. Um, 
and the message reads that King Richard has uh, his ship has been shipwrecked on some island and the the Roman Emperor has actually taken him hostage and asking for our, a huge ransom. So meanwhile, back in the forest, the messenger's still there. They're kind of beating him up and they just say, well, we'll let you here die slowly or we'll kill you quickly if you just give us what the message said. And I guess he has read the message, so he tells them the same thing, that King Richard has been captured and he's up for ransom. And as promised, they go ahead and give him a quick death. Now, back at Westminster, this is days later, a meeting um, has been forged, I guess, between Gisborne and the Prince John. The Prince John has a doting, not a doting, but an overbearing mother who is queen of another um, country, and I'm not sure what country that is. They kind of mention it here. It's something I'd never really heard of before. But she's saying, if you don't step up, I'm going to invade you and take you over her own son. And he bemoans the fact that Richard has been captured and he has no lands to speak of. Okay. So Gisborne shows up with the sheriff. The sheriff is told to wait outside with the mother. And um, she kind of ignores him. Everybody kind of ignores the sheriff here. He's, he's scarred. He's beat up. He's he's quite the hero in this actually. They gave an extensive 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 backstory to him in the first act arc that was very very interesting. But uh, he's got many things to contend with in, in trying to just do his job. So they get into this argument about what they should do. King Philip shows up as well. So they've got Prince John, King Philip, and Gisborne there discussing a plan and the plan that they come up with is they're going to pay the ransom but steal it themselves to show the good intentions to try to get to King Richard and Robin Hood apparently is upstairs listening to all this so he has followed the sheriff since he knew the plan he followed the sheriff and Gisborne to London so of course they choose the Sheriff of Nottingham to take the ransom through England to France. Before they even get to France, they are he is stopped by Robin one night, and Robin is trying to convince him, "Look, you're being set up. We can work together on this. Um, you're going to get attacked." And they do get attacked shortly after starting their conversation about him being. On the sheriff's side so they're able to get away they make it to the seaside village of Kent after a, an intense battle but they've lost a few people but they've they've been able to stop the the, the thieves and we I believe those are supposed to be like French thieves meanwhile back in Nottingham at the uh, Maid Marian's place she's coerced someone else to come in and take her place in bed while she goes off to Sherwood Forest to talk to the remaining people there, Little John. Um, I believe it's Little John. It might be Friar Tuck or something like that. They don't believe her, but she's saying, No, you've been abandoned here. You're stuck here. You should be following me because I have no le uh, allegiance to the nobility, even though I am a noble because they do nothing but push me down as well. So she has, ta she has talked them into fighting on her side as well. So we have all these subplots going. It's awesome. Um, this is a highly recommended book. Uh, I would start with get that first trade if you can find it somewhere. It comes out from Mad Cave. And look at this second issue for this arc. This is issue number seven. It's got Maid Marian on it. And once again, you get that nice that detail in the foreground there. Just really well done. I'm really, really impressed with this story. I love reading this thing. I'm so happy when I saw this on the stands. I didn't know the second arc was coming out, even though they hinted that it would continue. 
in the at the end of the first arc, which had a great battle at the end there. Um, so they also give us a preview of something called a legacy of violence. There wasn't enough here to really for me to actually recommend. I'll just give you, give you a short view of everything is in here. I just really can feel what the story is for, where, for. But all the white people in here are colored green for some reason. I'm not sure. You see a black person there and they they look black. And everybody else has got this green tint to them. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But it's a little bit more intense than, than a regular Marcus Welby, Dr. Show type thing. As you can see here. So there's some mystery going on. Not sure what it's about. Um, like I said, at this time I can't recommend that. But that is a legacy of violence. And there you go. Nice recommend here. Nottingham, issue 6. Get the trade if you can get that. I think you'd be able to follow along even if you started with issue 6 for the second beginning of the second arc um, because you know the characters already. In the first arc, we had a lot of death. I mean, like Will Scarlet got killed off like the first single issue. Then Alan O'Dell, Alan O'Dale, I think his name or something like that. Alan Dale, something. Um, he got killed off maybe the second issue. Um, so well-known characters have died in this already but just interesting it took me like i think it was partially through the second issue to, to realize the sheriff was actually the good guy in this story which is a nice twist and they really really worked out a nice story for it overall so there you go recommended thanks for stopping by and watching this comic book review of nottingham on youtube as always, please like, please subscribe if you haven't. Please leave comments, and we'll see you next time. I'm one of the last comic book channels reviewing, actually reviewing comics. So please stop by again. This is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.